Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. The Midwest's wet summer has led to a mushroom surge, causing a spike in poison control calls. The Minnesota Regional Poison Center reported 90 calls from April to July, up from 26 last year. Most cases involve mild symptoms like upset stomachs, but severe outcomes occur. The rise in foraging has increased exposure risks, with deadly species like the Death Angel present. Experts urge foraging with experienced hunters, warning that identification apps and AI-generated guidebooks can be inaccurate. Nationally, calls rose 26% from April to June due to varying weather patterns. In other developments, the FDA has approved SHIELD, a blood test by Gardent Health, for colorectal cancer screening in individuals aged 45 and older with average risk. This test, already available commercially, now has broader availability and potential insurance coverage. SHIELD detects cancer by identifying DNA from tumors in blood samples. Although not a replacement for colonoscopies, it offers a less invasive option, encouraging more people to get screened. SHIELD has an 83.1% sensitivity rate and an 89.9% specificity rate, but it has a 10% false positive rate and is less effective at detecting large polyps than colonoscopies. In another update, a manipulated video mimicking Vice President Kamala Harris's voice is raising alarm over AI's potential to mislead voters. The video, shared by Elon Musk without a parody disclaimer, uses AI to imitate Harris's voice, claiming she is a diversity hire and unfit for office. The video's widespread attention highlights the growing issue of lifelike AI-generated content in politics, with experts warning of its impact on democracy. As AI tools become more accessible, the lack of federal regulation leaves states and social media platforms to manage the rules. The incident underscores the need for stricter AI guidelines in political contexts. In other news, Greece has enacted nationwide restrictions on goat and sheep movements to combat a deadly PPR virus outbreak. Agriculture Minister Kostas Tsiaras announced a ban on commercial slaughter and reproductive movements, extending measures initially applied in central Greece, where the outbreak began. Known as goat plague, the PPR virus is highly contagious among goats and sheep, causing severe illness and death but poses no threat to human health. So far, 7,000 infected animals have been culled in Thessaly, with 1,200 more to follow. The World Organization for Animal Health highlights PPR's severe economic impact in affected regions, including Greece. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.